Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would go ahead and show you my daily cleaning routine. I get up around five o'clock because I actually go to Starbucks most mornings and get some work done. But before I head off to do that work, I actually put my laundry from the washer into the dryer. Um, the load I usually start the night before and then get it going in the dryer as soon as I wake up. Okay, so this is much later in the morning after I've gotten ready and after I've made my daughter's breakfast. I go ahead and get my dishwasher emptied that I started the night before. You're gonna see how like my nighttime routine and my morning routine all kind of go together. And that's why I decided to make a daily cleaning routine video instead of one or the other because I feel like one helps the other one out and you can't really have one without the other one. So um, I empty the dishwasher that I would have started the night before so that my dishwasher is empty and I can fill it through the day or at least by the time evening rolls around, it's empty and um, ready to be filled. At this point, I try to get breakfast all cleaned up and just have my kitchen counters cleared off and get our day rolling. This has been my favorite cleaner lately. It's the degreaser from Method, and especially this side of my kitchen where the stove is, it just cleans off the splatters and everything that comes with cooking so well. Sometimes I actually run my dishwasher twice in a day, so you're gonna see later on in the evening that it's actually empty. Um, I just really like to use my dishwasher. I always say that I would pay somebody to do my dishes, so why wouldn't I run my dishwasher twice a day? So you're gonna see that I did that this day. And then something I try to do every day, it doesn't always happen, but making my bed is just one way to clear my head. I don't know. I just feel like that I feel so much more productive when my bed is made and so much more rested to go to sleep in a bed that is made up. Then obviously by this point, that load that I put in the dryer earlier in the morning is dry and I can go ahead and fold it. So I've kind of made a rule for myself. I don't keep a laundry basket in my laundry room and I fold every load that comes out of the dryer. It helps keep me on top of things and I try to do a load a day and then just go ahead and put it away right away. All right, so after dinner is kind of whenever I start my evening routine and I get my dishwasher loaded, get my kitchen all cleaned up so that I don't wake up to a messy kitchen. And you guys, real life happens. There is a lot of nights that I don't get this done, but whenever I do, my day the next day starts off 
so much better and all of this stuff is so extremely simple i think that's why i've held off on filming this video for so long because i feel like it's just very simple things but all of these simple things really really help your day flow so much better and my daughters really like to play with the knobs in my kitchen so they're always turned all kinds of funny ways so if you guys watch in my cleaning videos you will see so often me turning the knobs the right way <laughs> And just like the morning routine affects the evening routine, I also feel like daily routines also affect your weekly cleaning routine. So if you keep up with these things every day, you know, when that weekly day rolls around or whenever you're gonna do a whole house clean, it's just so much simpler because you keep up with so much of it throughout the week. The other thing too that I didn't film is sometimes I pick up the living room, but to be honest, my girls have been doing really well at helping out with that. So a lot of times, even before they take their naps in the afternoon, they will pick up the living room and all of their toys and things so sometimes in the evening when we go to bed the living room is a little bit of a mess but I know at least once a day it gets picked up and toys and those sorts of things all get put away but my main priority is honestly the dishes and the laundry if I can keep up with those things then if I'm in a pinch and really want to clean up the living room that only takes a few minutes and it's not nearly as overwhelming as dishes <laughs> Something else that I will do a lot of times in the evenings is touch up my cabinets. If I see that there's fingerprints or splatters, that kind of thing, just keeping up with that helps again with how long it takes me to do my entire house clean. I thought I would go ahead and show you how I make my cold brew just because I've been getting questions about it and I'll link everything you need in the description box but you just use this cold brew pitcher and you actually put about 3 fourths cup of ground coffee in it. You'll want a dark roast. I highly recommend using the one that I showed here. You can get it off of Amazon and it just tastes so good as so many of you have been telling me because I know a lot of you have gotten this pitcher and have been using it. But one step you definitely don't want to miss is really soaking your grounds. So we made this mistake for a while and we couldn't figure out why our cold brew was ending up so watery. And it's because whenever I would fill it up at the refrigerator the small stream of water would not thoroughly soak the grounds so they would actually float in the water and they wouldn't actually be soaking in the water so I take my little sprayer at the sink like you saw and I just kind of like rinse the grounds down a little bit before I put the filtered water in that part's super important to make sure that it's bold and that your cold brew is brewed correctly then you'll just want to let it sit in the refrigerator overnight and pull the middle part out with the grounds in it in the morning so that it doesn't get too bitter and dark. Then the last thing I do before I go to bed is I put in my load of laundry so that in the morning I can put it in the dryer. Again, there's kind of a chain reaction with all of this, but it keeps everything rolling so smoothly. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to do your daily cleaning routine. Do you do a little bit every day? Do you do it all in one day? And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and I'll see you in my next video.